What is up guys, today I bring to you the server and profile of the day, Edmund Dantes. He can be summoned as an Avenger. His place of origin is France and he's a character from the adventure novel, The Count of Monte Cristo. Class skills, Avenger. The rank is A class. It's a skill that represents an Avenger. So basically the Avenger is a sacrifice for mankind. Anytime someone has hatred for another person, the burden of that energy is placed upon the Avenger instead. If you got beef with this guy, you might want to save it for later. When he takes damage from the enemy, it allows him to restore his mana at a faster rate. He also feeds off negative emotion and makes himself stronger in the process. Memory Correction The rank is B class. People forget a lot of things, but Avengers, they never forget anything. You remember that one girl that messed up your order? You know, the one with no neck, looking like she breathed peanut oil? Yeah, so does Edmund. If you're one of those people that forgot about him, it will increase the chance of him doing critical damage. Self-replenishment mana. The rank is D-class. Until Edmund gets his revenge, he'll receive spurts of magical energy. Personal skills. Determination of steel. The rank is EX. During his life, Edmund was imprisoned in Chateau Deef for 14 years. When it got to the point where he couldn't take it anymore, he decided to take his own life by starving himself. He survived, but the skill represents the suffering he had to go through during that time. Upon its use, he can ignore any pain from his mind and from his body. He can also endure superhuman speeds. Golden Rule The rank is A Class. The measurement of one's fortune to acquire wealth. Money ain't a problem for Edmund. While he was in prison, an inmate named Faria gave him some info on where to find some hidden treasure. Edmund found this treasure, and by doing so, he was granted everlasting wealth and political power. Wisdom of Predicament The rank is A class. This calls upon the luck to get out of situations using Faria's guidance. Since he's in the Avenger class, it also grants him the ability to use item construction at B rank. It allows him to create magical items designed for combat or personal use. Monte Cristo Mythology, the King of the Cavern. The rank is C class. It's an anti-unit phantasm, which means it's used on one person. This symbolizes Edmund's lifestyle as an incarnation of revenge. It's a phantasm connected to the treasure of Monte Cristo, which has the power to remake a person. So during his past, Edmund used to be a stand-up guy, honest, caring, but due to a numerous amount of trolls that life threw at him, all that righteous shit went straight out the window. For starters, he was arrested on the night he was supposed to get married. Then he goes on to find out that he was framed for a crime that he didn't commit and ends up spending 14 years in prison because of it. When he finally escaped, he found out that his pops died from poverty and the girl that he was supposed to marry married the dude that set him up. Yo, somebody get the gun. I'm mad for him. Since he didn't fit into any other class, his body itself has become a noble phantasm. Through this, he's been equipped with a magic circuit and a magic crest that allows him to harness the power from the age of gods. Remember all that magical energy he got from his skills? Well, this allows him to attack using the same energy as a poisonous flame. Pretty convenient. In addition to this, poison and mental abilities will have little effect, if they have any effect at all. He can also display false information in order to conceal his class and parameters. The phantasm itself is always active, but once the true name gets released, he fills the area with flames of grudge that piss his enemies against each other. According to Michael Roa from Tsukihime, Edmund can break barriers, burn souls, negate regeneration, and nullify reincarnation with this phantasm. Atondra Esperi, Wait and Hope. The rank is B class. It's an anti unit phantasm, which means it's used on one person. Despite being framed for a crime that he didn't commit, Edmund managed to bounce back and acquire an enormous amount of wealth. This allows him to recover in the same nature. 
if someone in his squad is on the verge of death, he can restore their health and rank up all their parameters upon restoration. He can also do this for himself. Infer Chateau Deef, Tiger Burning Bright. The rank is A-Class. It's an anti-unit and anti-army phantasm, which means it can be used against one person or an army. During his time in prison, Edmund showcased a mental fortitude that eventually evolved into a noble phantasm. You think escaping from prison was a feat? Well, in the Fate universe, this man can escape from time and space itself. What? By incorporating high-speed cognition, he can move at a speed so fast that it comes off as an attack from after images. He then proceeds to blast the opponent using his flames of grudge. Character design goes to Rui Komatsuzaki, who is an illustrator for the Danganronpa series. And this is why he looks like a Danganronpa character. The suggestion comes from Donald Taylor on my Altera video. In their comment, they mentioned that they would love to see a profile on Edmund Dantes. That about wraps it up. If you enjoyed the video, please like it up so we can get this trending. Feel free to add information as you see fit. And let me know what you guys think about it. It's your boy, Saya. I'm out.